What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can add an embedded YouTube video into your ClickFunnels. So the reason why you would want to do this and not the regular ClickFunnels approach where you just copy paste the YouTube link, so simple, right? Uh, it is, that way is really simple. But with this way, you, can, you, you actually have more customization options. So in particular, two, one is, so something that's not available in ClickFunnels, one is you can adjust the height and width of your video above and beyond of what is available to you in the customization options. And two, you can start a YouTube video at a particular time. So extremely, extremely, extremely useful. If you're selling a product and you found a perfect video, but the first 10 minutes of it is useless, people, when they land on your page, they're not going to watch your video for 10 minutes, right? They're going to immediately close out after the first half a minute and say, you know what, this isn't for me. So if you want to start the video at the 10 minute mark, you need to use HTML editor, which is what I will show you now. Okay. So let me just go edit page. Let me briefly show you, uh, just for those of you that, that are saying, dude, like I can do this in, in regular click funnels. I don't need HTML. Let me show you why that is incorrect. Uh, so let me just click add row. So let me show you what I mean. So first of all, if I click video and here, I'm just using one of my previous videos about adding transparency and hovering effects to your click funnels using um, CSS. Let me just show you what I mean. So suppose I do YouTube, right? There's no option. So this optional width and height is actually a ratio. Whether I put in one to one or a thousand to a thousand, it will be exactly the same. All right. Um, and that's it. Like you only have controls, you have autoplay and that's it. You don't have any other options. Okay. And your options for changing the, um, video width and the size is just this. Okay. So again, very limited. And then just show you if I put one, one, what it's going to look like. Okay. It looks pretty big. And if I put in a thousand, a thousand. So effectively you don't have a way to control the size and width if you want to. Okay. So that's the problem. Okay. So let me show you now what we can do about this. Um, so I'm going to add a row and we are going to scroll all the way down. We're going to go to custom JS HTML. Okay. Which is JavaScript. So we will plug that in. So whenever you're going to make changes to this, it will not show up immediately. So you, we will have to save and click preview. Okay. So if I click save and preview right now, it doesn't say anything. So first off, what we're going to do is we need to input the YouTube code of whatever video you want, right? It doesn't have to be my videos. You guys, this, this doesn't only work if you're using my videos. Okay. You can use any videos you want. So go on whatever video you want. Um, scroll down to where it says share scroll on embed and we're going to copy this whole link. So copy that whole thing. Um, go here in JavaScript, open code editor and paste it there. Okay. So now if I click save, um, and I preview the video is there. Okay. So perfect. It does work. Okay. So we have successfully What's put it up, in. Guys? It's Yvonne. Now we need to do several things. We need to center the video. We need to increase our size of the video and we need to make a certain time. And also I'll show you guys how you can autoplay the video if you want. Okay. So let's go back here. Text editor. So first thing we said, we need to center it. So what I'll do is I'll put in those tri uh, triangle brackets again. I will simply click center and I will save it. Okay. And there you go. Now it's centered. Okay. So let's change the size of this. So as you can see here, it's 560 by 315. So that's the ratio. So let's go to our calculator. Let's say 560 divided by 315. So the ratio is 1.7777. That's how much the width, um, uh, that's the size of the width over the height. Okay. So it's 1.77 times bigger than the height. So if we want to make like a good video, we need to maintain those ratios. So suppose I make this a thousand. Okay. So you'll have to play around with it because you can actually change the size of the video to an unlimited amount. Okay. It, it, it can fill up your whole page. So you may have to go back and forth. All right. So I'm going to say a thousand now. So remember that previous number, that 1.77, and now we're going to divide it by one point. You don't have to be as specific as me. Okay. I'm a perfectionist, guilty as charged, but you can, uh, you know, make it 1.8, whatever. So here it's 562.5. I will put in 562.5 because I'm a perfectionist, but you don't, I mean, you can just put like 565, right? It's, it's pretty much the same. So now you'll click save 
and now you go to preview and your videos that size that looks about good I mean you want to change it you can change it right make it 750 that's fine but as you can see it is very customizable so let's just make it 750 um, just to show you and I want to maintain my ratios I don't want to break those cool ratios and it's 420 I'll say 422 422 in preview and the video is a bit smaller okay so two things now one is we need to change the time and the second thing is maybe auto played if you guys want to do that okay so um, here's our link so now we need to figure out the time exact time in seconds that we want our video to start playing from so uh, say we want to go straight to you know how to add hovering effect say I'm selling something to a person right um, and whatever they're looking for is only at 416 so we need to calculate 416 in seconds if you're not a math wizard and you don't have a PhD in math you may want to use a calculator all right so how many seconds are there in a minute 60 so you're gonna do four minutes times 60 to 40 uh, plus however many seconds we needed so 16 so we got 256 so we will remember that 256 that's the number of seconds we're going to go right after the YouTube uh, website that www.youtube.com embed HQ whatever okay whatever the words are right after you need to write question mark you need to say start so start at this point equals and do you remember what we said we said the number was 256 okay so 256 now okay so for now let's just do that so now the video is gonna start at 256 seconds in so we'll click that and as you can see there okay so that's that now we need to create a hovering effect okay, okay so pretty cool it lands you exactly on the point you want to come across okay if, if there's there I mean there's a lot of YouTube videos with like 30 second one minute in long introductions um, not my type of introductions where I actually talk about why I'm doing this but introductions like just uh, audio effect sound effects just saying hey here's my brand right for 30 seconds to a minute so you may want to skip that sometimes um, so the one more thing if you do want to autoplay the video uh, because that is something that is available in ClickFunnels, but if you're using code, you do have to do it manually. So if you want to do that, uh, right after here, what we put in, we need to put the end sign to say that there's another command we want to input. So we're going to say end, and we're going to say autoplay. And what is the value for autoplay? It can be anything uh, or one. One means yes, autoplay. Anything other than that means no autoplay, or just don't have autoplay there. So you're going to put in autoplay equals one. And you're going to save. You will indeed preview this, and okay, so your video auto plays. Now we need to create a hovering. Okay, it auto plays on the point you want it to auto play on. So that is it. I hope that was useful to you. You can customize it. You can customize your videos a bit more with this HTML custom JavaScript. Um, I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Please subscribe for those of you that have subscribed. I do appreciate it. Thank you for that. And I will see you guys in the next videos.